is the rough material for our legs. Just going to get it a bit square. Make sure that guard's adjusted so your fingers can't get in there. Now I've ripped that down on the bandsaw before I thicknessed it, so you just missed a wee operation there. Cutting the legs to length and now just centering them ready for the wood lay. Drill a, about a 4.5 hole each end, only about 15mm deep. I've marked on the tool rest the places where I want to do the design of my leg. Just using the skew chisel here to get a nice clean cut. Now using the gouge to get rid of the excess material. Marking out positions for the design of the leg. And just to give you a little bit of a progress of how it turned out. Once again, really important to remove the tool rest so you don't jam your fingers between it and the work. And important to wear a mask at this stage because this dust is quite nasty and fine and it gets right up your nose. There's the finished piece. I wanted the uh, outside corners to be rounded so I chose to do it by hand in this case. Just finish it off with the orbital sander. Cutting the rails now to length. Just running some 12.5 millimeter thick tenons on each end of the rails and then doing a 15mm shoulder on the top and we'll do a 7mm on the other end oh look at that people say I don't clean up well there's evidence Marking out the tenons, make sure your rail's flush with the top of the leg. That's how we check the depth on the mortar, sir. Just check it on the side and then we're away. Left and right. Gluing on some decorative rails at the moment, some beading. Managed to put one on round the wrong way, had to race out of the spray booth and put it back on the right way. Quite frustrating. Coloured up these legs, 
while you weren't looking. Now watch the sequence of events here. We've um, buzzed one edge. Now we're ripping it parallel. Buzzing the other edge. Cutting one end square. And then turning it around and cutting it to its final length. That's the process folks. You can't cut it square if you don't make it parallel first. Now we're just trimming the corners in preparation for running it around the spindle moulder. Attaching a jig. Jig's slightly smaller than my tabletop. Important when you're running this to keep your hands pushing down and not into the cutter. And try not go too slow or you'll burn and wreck the cutter. Very happy with that. <laughs> then it's the old elbow grease and get it all sanded and looking sweet. I'm using some Holdfast Gorilla Grip 2 hour cure. The reason I'm using this glue is uh, I have sprayed the components and I don't want the glue to fail. Running slots for our buttons. And there the buttons are in place and we're nearly finished. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching. hope you've learnt something and look forward to seeing my students work this year. It'll be a great year I'm sure.